Next topic here. Uh, can you really rely on cloud service providers anymore? So uh, we wanted to bring in and talk about a little bit of the AWS uh, outage here that was on October 20th of 2025. And then additionally, um, just yesterday, uh, Microsoft had a global outage with their front door, which I wasn't aware of, but it's essentially an application load balancer. Yeah. Um, and it was widespread, you know. So I woke up. Actually, Episky was affected by this. Thirty five hundred, over thirty five hundred companies affected. Sixty countries, seventeen million users reported uh, uh, items logged on down detector. So the flight delays, pretty, I think. Pretty, I heard. And so when something like that happens, um, you know, who's uh, if if one if your DNS at your company goes down, then somebody's probably uh, in trouble. Yeah. And so if you're a smallish company that can totally withstand having, you know, a few hours of downtime. Uh, some of the best business continuity advice I saw for some of that is, well, we'll just wait. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that this put me in mind of was just how things evolve over time and how, you know, it used to be people didn't have backup diesel generators in their data centers. So, but yeah, lessons learned, um, you know, I don't know. Understand that, what you're relying on. Important. Look yeah. at your supply chain. Um, and then, you know, you have to decide, is your cloud service that you're selling to your customers so important that you need to actually figure out the multi-cloud strategy? 